welcome back to my channel welcome to a get ready with me video and to the unedifying sight of me in a towel i am in a towel i realize that to all intents and purposes i look like i'm not in a towel i am safely toweled trust me today's video as i said is get ready with me and you may notice this is not my bedroom this is because this is our cabin on board the Ventura cruise ship. We've been cruising on Ventura for just over a week now. We've had one celebration night already. They call the, the gala dinner nights, the, the black tie nights, they call them celebration nights. We've had one already, but we didn't, we didn't record getting ready for that one. So I thought I'd better do it for this one. And the reason I need specifically to do it for this one is because I need to show you some lovely jewellery that I have been sent from a beautiful company called Dazzling Vivian. I'm going to go and fetch it while you watch this short insert. Dazzling Vivian are based in Shenzhen in China and were founded by a young college graduate who discovered a love of crystals whilst he was studying. Their signature style is bright and rich colour combinations with delicately balanced shapes and precise pattern matching which pays homage to the brand's deep Swarovski roots. They not only pay attention to the inheritance of cultural traditions, but also innovation has become their decisive force and the brand is continuously developing and keeping pace with the times. Dazzling Vivian will reinterpret crystal design with an innovative attitude, lead a new fashion trend and become a model for modern young group design. The first piece I received is this beautiful rose gold adjustable bracelet. I prefer an adjustable bracelet as I have fat wrists and wide hands. So to see that there's a large range of adjustable bracelets on Dazzling Vivian was really nice. This is beautifully set with manufactured gemstones and it was really easy to put on and I think it's really very effective. The second piece I received was this absolutely stunning crystal, stunning silver plated multicolour crystal ring. It's adjustable. This was such a novel thing for me. If you have fingers that swell and you're worried that you may, you may have to have your rings cut off or that you may not be able to remove them easily, an adjustable ring is an absolute breakthrough. It's so pretty. It has five or six different coloured crystals and as you can see you can widen it and then tighten it back up again when it's on. Absolutely beautiful piece of design and such a pretty ring. And finally, the third piece which I received is an item that I requested not for myself. These are absolutely beautiful sterling silver drop earrings. They've got a little reindeer on with pink gemstones and a pearl detail. They are for pierced ears and they are for one of you guys. I'm going to do these in a giveaway during my Vlogmas episodes. So make sure to keep an eye on the channel if you'd be interested in winning these earrings. They will be coming out to one of you guys in a giveaway on the channel during December. They are just the prettiest little Christmas earrings I've ever seen. So once again, thank you to Dazzling Vivian for sending me these beautiful pieces to share with you. And remember to check out all the information in the description box below the video if you'd like to go and have a look at the website. Okay, firstly, you have to excuse the very weird angle. I've only got a Joby tripod with me. You're propped against the lamp. The lighting is terrible. <laughs> Yay for getting ready in the cabin. Secondly, if I look a bit weird, it's because it's a very choppy day. Very choppy day at sea and I feel a bit like there's too much sea out there. And thirdly, excuse the very large forehead, I've clipped my fringe out of the way. So I'm going to try and transform this into something a little bit more bearable to take out for dinner. I've put my top back on just so that I don't have to worry about towel slippage basically. I've got one pocket mirror, a very limited quantity of makeup. Let's see what I can achieve. Starting with 
pressed powder it was really cheap this one i'm not even sure where i got it from made in china and i don't tend to do an entire face of foundation and stuff i don't get on with it i don't know how to apply it i've never got the hang of um contouring and making my face look a different shape to what it actually is never really got the hang of it at all so i just do an all-in-one face base i used to use a body shop one but i dropped it and smashed it to smithereens and i haven't got around to to replacing it yet this probably not the best choice for today because actually i've got really dry skin and face base is just sort of sitting on top of oh dear oh dear probably not a good choice at all i haven't got any actual moisturizer with me but i've got some illuminating eye cream and do you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna illuminate my flipping forehead with it This is definitely not a how-to video. <laughs> that is literally just what have I got that I can apply some moisture to my forehead with so that it doesn't sit there being all flaky and dry. That's slightly better. Okay, I have brought with me a Technics Bronzing Eyeshadows Palette which I think came from yours clothing, believe it or not. And a Makeup Revolution, which is from Superdrug, and this is the Mint Chocolate Palette. So this is browns, bronzes, golds and creams and a bit yellow, and this is bronzes as well. So I picked really well when I was packing. I didn't actually pay proper attention to what I was putting in. And I've ended up with two palettes that are about the same color. I'm going to start with A neutral layer all over the lid and I believe this here and up and carrying it up to the brow bone I've just realized in my hair like this I look like Ken Dodd I've got the benefit brow micro filling pen which is good because I've just pulled out a white eyebrow and it left a gap you're supposed to use this in tiny feather like strokes as you can see Cat candy colour, I just smear it on. In my defence, tiny feather light strokes would not be the easiest thing on a moving ship. There we go, enhanced eyebrows, basic eye base. I've got an eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to um, use this bronze. Can you see that? You probably can't. I'm going to use this bronze in the corners. That's the corner of the eye sockety bit and then just taking it in the crease that's the it's the crease isn't it that's where it is it's the corners and the crease makeup guru i am not and i've got a slightly more gold shade which i'm just gonna blend over the top slightly <sighs> the rocking of this boat is not helping i'm starting to get a little bit queasy and then from the other palette i've got the highlighter shade i'm gonna go up to the brow bone with that and a tiny bit across the bottom of the lid as well. Like so. I've got my favourite Foera winged eyeliner stamp, which I absolutely love. I've banged on about this before. It's got two different ends on it. I will link it below, as I've said before. I can't show you on, well, I can't see what I'm doing. It doesn't matter, I've got glasses on. But it's got two different shaped ends and you bump, bump, and I'll link it below because it's fabulous. One. I hope you can see that. Other side. Two. Sometimes I get it completely the wrong angle and I have to take one off. And then this is just a standard. This is collection makeup. I don't know where collection makeup's from. It might be from Wilco. Fast Stroke Longwear Liner. That's a liquid eyeliner. And I'm just going to go cross the lash line and join up with the flick I hope as long as the ship doesn't go over any bumps in the meantime that I went fine but then that I always does it's always this one that's the challenge and I know you can't see, sorry. 
but then perhaps you don't care. There we go. Try and dry that a little bit. Try and reduce my chances of smudging it. This is collection makeup again. Where is this from? I honestly don't know where collection makeup is from. It might be boots. No, it's super, it's super drug. I'm sure it's super drug. I'm becoming less sure. It needs sharpening. I don't have a sharpener. That's tough. I'm going to go just into the corners of the lower lid. And then along the lower lash line. I used to go along the water line, which is the bit above the lashes right next to your eye. But as you get older, that doesn't seem to work so well. You can't get away with that. And this is the last touch. Um, my makeup is very, very simple. Um, this is Essence I Need a Miracle Volumizing Strengthening Mascara. And I'm sure, I'm sure I got this in Wilkinson's. I'm sure I did. Oh, I'm trying to put mascara on a ship. I just stuck that right in my eye. There we go. That's as good as it gets, I'm afraid. I'm not a makeup guru. I'm not an artiste. I'm not very good at. I'm looking at the wrong bit of the camera. I should be looking over there. <laughs> Hi. Um, that's as good as it gets. I can't make it any better than that, especially not on board a boat. My skin is very dry. And I'm not sure why, because I'm drinking water like I never normally do. I'm, I'm absolutely drinking pints of the stuff. Next step is to finish drying and straighten my hair. I'll come back to you when that's done. You've seen me doing that before. And then we'll find a frock. And let's just hope that the frocks I brought on board the ship 10 days ago, which fitted when I boarded, still fit now. 10 days of overindulgence later. Okay, hair is done. It will need another... Sorry, I've got something in my eye. I'll need another run through with the straighteners just before I leave the room because it's still... I'm, st I'm hot, it's still frizzing slightly. But it's mostly done. It's time to choose a frock. I have brought two, two frocky horrors on this cruise. I do not like wearing long dresses. I don't like dressing up at all. So I've got this one, which I know I've shown you guys this in a video because I showed you when I bought it for charity shop job. This one's also from charity shop. This one, I think, is probably the most likely of the two. It just depends on whether I have outgrown it in 10 days of eating on board ship. But there we go. Those are the two dresses. I will try this one on. And if this one works, then I won't even bother trying that one because I don't like that one anywhere near as much. So, this is the first dress. And on first inspection, it was okay because it fits. But when I turn, there's a really weird point here. And it's the top. It's a, it's a gourd dress there are seams that go down that make it flare and there's one of those on each of my butt cheeks <laughs> can you see that weird shape so i've got kind of a pointy out bit on each each of my bum cheeks so i'm going to try the going to try the other dress and see what happens there this is the second it is a lot more snug around here than it was when i tried it on before cruise i have definitely added quite a few pounds on this on this holiday Quite a few. I'm not wearing this one. I feel very uncomfortable in it. I'm going to wear the other one and just hope nobody says, why have you got pointy bits on your bum? There we go. So it's this frock with me. Charity shop shoes. And uh, my, charity shop, my charity shop earrings as well. Enormous earrings, it has to be said. Far, whoa, it does keep moving the boat. Far bigger than I usually wear. And I've got a wrap somewhere. I think I my wrap for all the good it'll do. Got my uh, Le Vie Belle. Let's squirt that. And that's me ready to go. I will show you Tammy when she's ready, but she's still getting dressed, so it's not time yet. As promised, here is Tammy in her. This is another charity shot special, wasn't it? From our yeah, um, this is. Um, St. Peter's Hospice, six yeah. pounds. Six pounds for a cruise dress. And the shoes were seven. I'll yeah. do DSA and yank. There you go, so you can go on a cruise on a budget. Looking very glam. Thank you very much, my dear. We're off for dinner. Just one reminder to check the descriptions box below for all the information about Dazzling Vivian and the beautiful jewellery that I was sent. And watch out for the reindeer earrings during Vlogmas because they're going to pop up in a giveaway for you guys. We'll see you later. Bye for now.